Hello, my beautiful people. I just got out of my exciting Brazilian drumming class that I am trying to commit to. We go and do that in the park. We're preparing for Carnival in Nevada City. So I'm excited about that for the first time performing one of my favorite styles, Samba Hege, with another one. Um, so today, I really thought this was going to be a short video, but it's not because there's really so much more that has to be say to be said when I'm talking about such deep issues like needs. And what I wanted to say in regards to relationships and why I think it, why I know it's so important to work on ourselves, um, that when it comes to another person, your significant or whoever you are in a relationship with, of a, you would like to be in a long-term sort of situation, um, is the expectation that the person is going to meet all the needs and that they're going to check all the boxes, which I think, in my opinion, is a large task. And it is a very high expectation, especially when they are trying their best anyway, if you think that they are trying their best to be, you know, a decent partner, right, whatever that means to you. And so basically, instead of trying to focus on what they are doing, what they should be doing, this is why we have to go inside of ourselves, okay? Um, in my opinion, to be happy. If you want to be happy, you have to find the ways to meet those needs. And I can understand that uh, you may feel selfish and different things like that. Whatever the needs are, okay, that you've assessed, maybe you didn't think it was that important, whatever it is, is that if you want to be happy, you got to figure it out in your own way. That's pretty much the bottom line. And you know, the efforting, you can pray, you can do all these sorts of things. For example, and the person maybe changes temporarily and then goes back to the, the other ways or um, whatever it is. I just think it's a constant work in process. And so that's pretty much what I wanted to say in this video is that uh, we all have needs uh, from my Buddhist ways and philosophies and, you know, ways of thinking that is something a little bit that I've struggled with desiring anything in life, you know, desiring, having a desire for anything. So actually the personal needs, whether you're looking at the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, whether you're looking at that or you're looking at emotional needs or whatever it is, feeling like they are important. And the, the longer that you go in feeling like they aren't important and you're gonna repress and stuff down, something is going to happen in your life to trigger it and make you look at that area, okay? So I think that's, one of the biggest parts is that if you ignore whatever it is, that area, you're going to be haunted by it. And really asking yourself, you know, do you want to be happy? And how are you going to be happy? For example, if these needs aren't met, or like I just said, the ebb and flow of life, maybe the person or situation changes for the good, but then it reverts back. What are you going to do? I know I make relationships sound a lot of work and um, in some aspects I, I do think that you know they do require a certain level of work you'll hear anybody say that but I just wanted to jump on here and and state this as that because it's something that I'm always reflecting on okay and being really honest with our with yourself and what your needs are that's why relationship counseling especially in the beginning I think is really great and filling out emotional needs questionnaires and things like those of us who have a hard time even talking or even addressing these things is a really great idea and let us also keep in mind me being uh, very compassionate and understanding sometimes the other person doesn't they're not conscious they don't even know that they're not that they're doing the thing that you're talking about and they cannot put it into words so we got to have empathy for those situations and it's both two-sided right I guess I just ended up realizing later in life like people actually not knowing just like I didn't know that I was a people pleaser there are other people that don't know how to speak, how to use words. Um, I And I was that person as well. So definitely when it comes to expressing emotions, all of that sort of stuff has been really challenging for me. Okay, maybe this provided some help or some insight. 
uh, different things in there talking about relationships. This could go into a much longer and lengthier episode, but I'm not doing that today. So I hope all you have a good day and I'm glad that the sun is out. So I am in uh, definitely better spirits these days with all the rain that we've been having. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye.